Hey guys, today I thought that we could do a full face of Glam Light. I think I have everything that like Glam Light, Glam Light offer, like they don't make foundations or anything like that, but I've got like eyeshadow, I've got lashes, mascara, I think I, I don't know if I have bronzer, but I feel like a contour. I don't know, I feel like they're not like super into bronzer, like they make a lot of blush and highlight, but not a lot of bronzer, but anyway. <laughs> And then like I've got, you know, blush, highlight and lip products. So I thought this could be a fun video. The palette I'm going to take today is the part two um, one. This is the uh, Michaela and Glam Light collab. I've already done a video using the big one, but I'm going to take this smaller one. This isn't like repeat shades, is it? I feel like I should check if this is repeat shades, because if this is repeat shades, I do not need this. Okay, it doesn't seem to be repeat shades. Sorry, I mean, technically I probably still don't need it, but whatever let's just get into the video um today it's gonna be a super neutral look because i'm just itching for something neutral so so i'm gonna prime my eyes first of all i've got this scratch on my nose um since i started getting into nails i like have been trying to grow my nails out i used to be the type of person that i would bite mine down to like nubs you know like i could never ever have any nail on and then once I started like getting into nails, I started to grow them out. I have to trim them every week because I play netball and you're not allowed to have them like long. But they actually grow pretty fast. Like the weeks that we've had like buyers and things like that where I haven't had to trim them down, they actually grow like pretty quick. Anyway, I feel like I'm not super used to having long nails because I've, I think I've scratched my own face maybe like five times in the time that I've grown out my nails. And it really hurts. Um, I always like pull the blankets up above my head and like, I don't know how I did it the other night, but I was like lying in bed and I pulled the blankets up and I scratched my eyes. I was like, ow. And yeah, anyway. You'd think that like I'd be used to growing my nails out by now because I think I've been growing them out since like the start of the year. So that's like, you know, eight months or something like that. But apparently not. They still aren't super long, obviously, because I, yeah, like I said, I put netball, but. All right. I'm gonna be really boring. I'm gonna just take the basic colors from this palette today. I honestly can't even be like, I don't even really wanna cut the crease. I just kind of wanna do something like, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like doing something really kind of. I'm gonna start with the um, color called, I have no idea what that says, but it's this one here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like put that through the crease. Glam Light is one of my favorite brands ever. The shade's a lot darker than what I thought it was going to be, but anyway. Yeah, I love Glam Light. I think that, I feel like I've talked about this like before, but Glam Light's one of those brands that you can just tell that they don't just make stuff for a profit. They make it because they love to make makeup. And I think that it really shows. Um, another brand is P. Louise. I feel like she puts her heart and soul into the products that she creates and it, it pays off. I feel like you can really tell. And I feel like this shade looks like so different on the eye. Like, does that not look so different? Like this has such a red undertone on the eye. Yeah, but anyway, I feel like Glam Light is, yeah, just a brand where you can just really just tell how much they care about like actually making products and yeah, I feel like it shows, so. I also think the quality is so good, and they're a very, like, affordable brand, especially, like, in makeup. Like, in terms of makeup, I feel like they're super affordable, but yeah. I really enjoy Glam Light. It's one of my all-time faves. I really hope that they expand soon. Something, my only critique about Glam Light, they used to have, like, like, set products, like, um... But now I think they only kind of have their collab products and a lot of them are limited edition. So for example, the mascara I have is from the Scooby-Doo collab that they did and now that's not there anymore. So now they don't have, they've got like the Betty Boot mascara, but like, I don't know. I, don't get me wrong, I love a collab and a limited edition moment so much. But I also feel like, yeah, just some of the products that they make are... Like they, I feel like I wish that they would make them staple products. The setting spray I have is the Rick and Morty one and I don't know if they sell the Rick and Morty collection anymore. So I just feel like 
you know, it'd be cool if they had like a setting spray that was there all the time and like a mascara that was there all the time and then did their limited edition collabs as well, if that makes sense. But I mean, that's probably just me being picky. But yeah, that's kind of like my only critique. Um, I'd really love to see the brand expand. I really hope that they go into like foundations and things like that. I need to pluck this eyebrow hair out. They've just come out with a setting powder, which I don't have yet, but I'm very interested in trying it. But yeah, I'd love to see them do like foundations, you know, even like skincare or something like that. Brow products. I don't know if they have brow products. I don't think they do. Okay, this is what we've got going. And it really isn't coming out how I thought it would, so I'm kind of like... Anyway, going into the lighter brown, which is called Chachuterie. I'm using that to kind of... Blend. Yeah, I don't think this is... It's so weird, like, it looks like... It does not have that much of a red undertone in the palette, but whatever. Yeah. I really enjoy Glamlight. I feel like they do some really cool stuff. And they have a really nice attention to detail. Oh my god, my camera is flashing. It's gonna go flat. Okay, I just had to take a little bit of a break while my camera charged. Um, okay, this is looking trash, but it's fine. We're gonna like sort it out, so don't even stress. I'm gonna take the uh, deep shade. It's called Tea Time. I wasn't gonna go there, but I don't know what is going on with this look, and I'm not loving life. I feel like this has happened like in the last couple of looks that I've done. I don't know if I'm getting bad at makeup or like, you know, I'm losing my makeup skills. That would suck. Why is it being annoying? Do you think it's is it because I like, I just charged my camera for like 10 minutes. Surely like people have taken a break before while doing their eyeshadow, yeah? Anyway, I'm literally gonna leave it like that because I don't want any, like this is even more dramatic than what I was going for, but this palette, has some really pretty shades and I'm excited to like dip into this palette like and try out the other shades in the future but today I just wanted something that was like easy and quick and neutral and this is not it so that's great <laughs> like I don't know anyway that's fine I'm gonna go back into the such so true oh, no the first one we used I don't know how to pronounce it it's like I don't even know, I'm not even gonna try. I don't like it blend. But yeah, I don't know, I'm not live, laugh, loving right now. But whatever. Win some, you lose some. Today is like my, my day off and it's meant to be like my filming day. And I didn't start filming until late. Like it's almost five, five o'clock now. I just, I woke up this morning and I had a really bad headache. And then, I just, oh, I couldn't be bothered. I was like, you know what? I just can't. I am worried that I'm starting to kind of hit my wall in this in a sense because this will be the this will be like my third month of uploading every day. Um, my plan at this stage is to go until the end of the year, uploading every day, and then scale things back next year. So I feel like you know. I can, it's doable, I can get there, it's fine, but I just really love like a day off, you know, but I also know that if I have one day off, then I'll think to myself, oh, well, there's no point in continuing on, so I'm just not going to do it, so I feel like I'm my own biggest enemy, you know, like it's not that bad, like we're, we're living, we're making it work, I just feel like I'd really love a little break, it's only a couple more months. <coughs> Okay, I'm going back into the charcuterie chart shade and just like blending everything. They are not, they're not sisters, they're not cousins, they're not even talking to each other, but whatever, that's fine. I was going to put this shade on top, but I feel like it's too much. There's this one. I feel like that's too dark. Like, I feel like I've, it's already dark enough. <laughs> this one, it's so pretty, but I feel like that needs to be like used another time. Just not loving. The way this looks. I'm gonna have to put the, the gold shade on because I don't think there's any other options. It's called Aspire. Now that's not awesome, that bad. Like this is by no means my favorite eye look, but um, hmm, it's okay. I reckon I might do a wing. I feel like a wing is really gonna 
pull this together, you know? Anyway, I'm taking the tiniest bit of that tea time shade, which is the deep one, and just blending like so. And we'll clean it up soon as well. Give everything a little bit of a blend. This is not neutral by any means, so. <laughs> I just wanted something nice and like light. But anyway, we don't always get what we want. I'm just taking, this is the Glam Light and Ghost Face Liquid Eyeliner. I actually really enjoy this. I'm just doing a small wing today. I'm just gonna bring it like halfway across like that. Just a little baby, just something to tie together. But yeah, I really enjoy this liner. It's really pigmented and it's really easy to work with. So we got our, our little baby wings. This one's a little bit thicker. Oh God, this is where it starts. No, I'm not even touching it. It's not even that much thicker. I'm like, no, I'm not. Okay guys, I'm gonna go off camera, do lashes. Um, I'll put like foundation and stuff on because I don't have like, Glam Light don't make that part of makeup. So yeah, I'll go and do that and then we'll be back. Okay, so um, I used my, I feel like, I used my Glam Light Mascara. <laughs> Sorry, this is it here. This is the, it's the one like that I did in collab collaboration with Scooby-Doo and it's called the Bat Scar. It's super cute actually. I feel like it needs to be retired though. Um, I've had that for, a, I reckon over a year now. Um, and it's just getting dried out and yeah and then these are the strawberry lashes which I think also need to retire once again I've just had these for so long and I've used them so many times I mean look at all the glue on there that's gross but anyway um, I do really like these lashes from Glam Light but yeah I think it's time they go anyway let's get on to the rest of the face so Glam Light don't really have like a bronzer or at least I don't have one I've got this little thing and you see even this this isn't like you can't even get this anymore but there's this was like meant to be like a this was called the smallest palette which was really cute but i'm going to take this shade here it's called chocolate and i'm going to use that as my bronzer it's quite cool tone it's meant to be more of a contour but it's all i've got so hopefully it looks right they've been sneak peeking heaps of stuff that they've got ready for or like they're getting ready for like the halloween season i'm so excited i still really want to get the new Chucky collab, but I'm trying to I want a bit of a no buy at the moment in saying that I actually bought something today, but um, it was like a mystery box. I was like, whatever, I need to, not from Glam Light, from a different brand, but apart from that, I've been trying to be on a no buy, so. And then we're going on our holiday, like early September, so I feel like when I get back from the holiday and like I've got a bit of spare money and things like that, I'd really like to pick up the Chucky, yeah, Chucky collection, the new one. It's like the good guys, the good guys one. I still need to try out the original Chucky palette. Still haven't even tried that out. I've got it here, but I just haven't used it yet. Um, but speaking of, <laughs> we're actually gonna use the blush today. So this is the blush duo. It's really cute. And they've, re they've redone this as well. This was like the original one that they had, but they've got like a new one and it's got like two different blush shades. Whereas this one is just like the same blushes and it's quite pink. So I'm a little bit scared, but. Um, I'm gonna take it like very light in. Like it looks fluoro, guys. If there's something that Glam Light loves, it's a blush. Mm. Look at it, it's like fluoro. It's pretty though. So cute. Okay, I feel like it does not suit this look. Oh my god. I'm just gonna like. It'll be alright. It'll come together soon. I feel like my eyes are so dark and it's really washing out the rest of my face, but whatever. Okay, highlight. I'm just gonna take this one. This is the ghost, ghost face one. Um, I think I'm gonna take this shade, the little knife one. It's so beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Oh my god. I keep taking the foundation off my nose. It's been happening every single time I've done my makeup lately and I don't know why, how or why. But anyway, let's set the face. I'm taking the Rick and Morty setting spray. This is so cute. It's in a little beaker, which is just like, is it a beaker? I don't know. It's in something science -y, that's all I know. And I think I'm going to take the Frosted Flakes um, lip kit today. I'm a bit worried because I think this has blue in it, but whatever. See, I don't think they have this collab anymore. They might actually, I don't know. This is a really pretty colour. This is a blender. And then let's put the gloss over the top. Oh, okay, it looks like that. It's quite like, pretty. It's taken off all of that lip liner, which is great. I feel like this smells weird. 
like good good weed hmm I mean all centered but okay oh, okay this actually I need to put lower lash mascara on hang on this is the finished look I don't know why I said it like that but look it's not my favorite as I'm sure you guys probably guessed like it's okay um but I'm just not loving the eyes like they're dark and like it's not the worst thing in the world but it's just not my favorite but yeah um this is the full face of glam light honestly I love glam light so much I feel like I didn't do them justice with this video but um I do really enjoy their products I think they have really exciting and fun collabs I love their eyeshadows I love um majority of the products I make actually I feel like I'm struggling to think of a glam light product that I haven't like loved hmm I can't remember but I do really enjoy glam light I think they're a really really nice brand as I said I'd love to see them expand and do something that's not just like eyeshadow and blush um you know I'd love to see like a foundation or a concealer or something like that they have recently come out with setting powders and I really do want to get one of those um and I'd love to see a permanent line as well. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I absolutely love fun collabs. But I'd love to see, um, you know, a kind of like staple base kind of line. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.